I'm Caressa Jackson for Heart of the Home, cooking at the Meadow Event Hall Kitchen at the Meadow Event Park. Today we're going to be making crispy cauliflower and pasta. We've already jumped into this recipe a little bit, and so I'm going to tell you about what we did in our prep steps. We went ahead and we boiled our pasta, but only to al dente, because the secret to this recipe is not getting a bunch of mushy things together, but actually making a really crispy dish. Now we have cauliflower here, which is an awesome coal crop in the state of Virginia that you can find in your local farmer's market or in the grocery store at any time of year. We also steamed this just a touch because we still want it to be a little bit crispy. Here we have a skillet that we have heating at medium high heat, and we're going to start with a little bit of olive oil at the bottom of our pan. Here we have four cloves of garlic that have been thinly sliced, and we're going to add that to our skillet to brown, along with a few pinches of red pepper flakes. All of the ingredients for this recipe have been given to us by our friends at Relay Foods. You want to keep stirring the garlic and the pepper around your pan to ensure that the red pepper doesn't stick and burn at the bottom of your skillet. Once your garlic has started to brown, we will then top it with our cauliflower. We want to place them head side down because that's the part that we want to brown first. Once we get them all in, we're not going to touch it for about five minutes until that, they get that crispy and great brown look on the top. All right, now it's time to add our pasta to the pan. I have um, taken our cauliflower and moved it over to the side, and then we're gonna add our pasta. We're gonna top it with a little bit of olive oil. And what we want is to make sure that the pasta, for the most part, is at the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in, stir it up some, and then we're gonna add some cauliflower pieces to the top and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I've also moved the garlic to the top as well because at this point it's really nice and brown and we don't want it to cook too much more. And the purpose of putting our pasta at the bottom is because at this point, as you can see on the top of our cauliflower, they've become really crispy and so we want the same thing to happen to our pasta. That's one of the main things that gives this dish flavor is the crispiness. At this point, you can add a little bit of cracked pepper and salt. We're gonna let that cook for about two minutes and then we're gonna start to continuously mix it until everything is really crispy. It is now done. This is one of those recipes that once we plate it, if you wanted to add like some fresh Parmesan, that would be really good to add. Maybe a little bit of like Italian dressing, I think, could be good on top if you let it cool. If you wanted to make this like a summer dish, you could. Get a little bit more cauliflower. All right, and here we have crispy cauliflower and pasta. I'm Caressa Jackson for Heart of the Home. Come and get it. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Relay Foods website at RelayFoods.com.